back again with another uh, war recap. It was actually a perfect war, our first perfect war, so congrats guys, we did uh, three star every single town hall they had. I'm gonna feature two attacks, the first one will be by Hong, it's going to be a shattered uh, go wipe. Uh, for those of you who don't know the differences between uh, the names of the attacks, uh, let's say using golems, so the first one will be uh, cold blooded, which is one golem, and rest uh, troops that you decide can be uh, can be uh, Valk's hogs portion, can be uh, Pekka's uh, whatever, you know. Uh, the second one is Shattered, it's two golems uh, leading the attack and the last one is Stoned, which are three golems uh, that will lead the attack. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are, there are more names uh, to those attacks if you add up uh, golems, but I, I just don't uh, really think that you should uh, use more than two or three golems. Now, uh, I want you to pay attention to those builder huts. They can be super pesky, so we decided to uh, deal with them as fast as you can. And when you're doing a go wipe, as I've said before, uh, you, you need to do a really wide and good funnel, <coughs> which he does here. He sends a test wall breaker, which is great, that actually uh, blows through the wall, and sends uh, three more wall breakers just to break on this uh, bottom compartment, lures the CC, and when Pekkas are in ra under rage, they they really can kill everything, so, now, the Queen will actually aggro in a second and will start shooting his troops, and he leaves a jump spell, because he knows that he needs to kill the Queen, and instead of the, the troops uh, beating through the wall, he just throws a... Um, a jump spell and kills the queen. And from now on, it's just basic cleanup, you know. Um, when you do, when you do a really, really good and wide funnel with the go wipe, it it almost can go wrong. <clears throat> so awesome job, man! He actually had a six pack war, three stars on both his attacks. Next one will be uh, by Ben on the number six. Now, as I've already featured uh, before, uh, attacks of Bin. <coughs> excuse me, he's he's a really good attacker. He can read a base. He knows uh, what he needs to do. Now, what happened here is two things. First of all, as you can see, there are builder huts here as well, which can be super pesky if you uh, forget about them and then everything is dead inside the base and you got like two seconds and your whole army is running uh, to to shoot down the last uh, builder hut and you get like a 99% it, it could be really frustrating so when you scout a base these are the things that you need to look at possible trap uh, trap locations or Tesla locations um, probably a giant bomb here probably a Tesla uh, here or even here and you know and obviously if you want to lure the CC you need to see where the radius goes at so this is what he did he's gonna drop the first hog right here now the hog will go onto this wizard tower but he won't lure should have seen it when he scouted it and then when he saw that it doesn't pull he's gonna throw it on uh, cannon and from here he will actually pull a bunch of Valks he will throw an archer tower to the right and from here it's just a simple simple um, CC kill now once the archer is down the enemy archer is gonna throw some minions just because the Valks can't shoot uh, air that was smart move, throwing uh, an archer to the left, uh, so they would go a bit more through the poison. And that's that's really smart, guys. If you see, if you know what's in the CC, you can throw a couple of uh, air troops if it's uh, if it's Valks or stuff that doesn't shoot air, air, and just kill them. Now he's gonna throw some uh, archers on the builder huts, so we won't forget them, as I mentioned before, and. 
now we'll go with the uh, uh, kill squad portion which will be golem couple of wizards from behind to create a funnel really really wide funnel now this what he did here is actually can can be kind of um, risky if someone would have put a small bomb here or a trap like a, like a spring trap here all those wall breakers would not break through the wall I would really recommend sending one wall breaker for test and then sending a bunch of uh, wall breakers now when you rage wall breakers they will blast through walls like no problem he actually I think he wanted to break through this layer this layer and this layer which didn't happen because they all bunch up right here the rage uh, comes up a bit too late and they will blow only through the first portion as you can see and that's it but no matter because the funnel is super wide the funnel is super good he just throws his valks in they melt through those walls as you know already and a couple of vags go to the north with uh, with the golem there. A couple of vags go to the core and backside hogs, which is always great. I would always recommend using hogs um, on the backside, but maybe on a different placement because here they're gonna uh, almost be fried to bacon and then a couple of seconds. But they did manage to uh, to sh to kill about three, maybe yeah, three uh, defenses and that's it you know when 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 you got valks that's still alive and two golemites that's still alive and a couple of wees and even your king's ability you know it's a three star from now on awesome job man great great job nice now uh that, that's basically uh it for the for this recap and i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, please like and uh, subscribe to my channel i will try and feature uh, more of our attacks and please tell me uh, if you want something me to show you like uh, i don't know some things maybe how i farm i'm currently at masters 3 and i got well up until a couple of hours ago i had uh, both of my king and queen um, upgrading so I actually found uh, a kind of DE expensive uh, troop combination, but it gets me lots of loot, uh, which helps me build my walls, because I actually almost maxed out, except for walls and royals. I, uh, I finished all my, you know, all my upgrades here, so um, yeah. So tell me please, I have a Tunnel 6, I have a Tunnel 8, uh, which maybe could be even more interesting than Tunnel 9. Uh, yeah, so thanks, thanks a lot guys, and uh, I'll catch you up on my next video. Bye bye.